If you've filled up with gas lately, you've probably noticed a big jump in prices. Now they're on the rise across all of central Indiana, just ahead, of course, of the 4th of July holiday. The Now's Mike Pelton takes a look at what's behind the spike and if we'll ever see a drop in prices anytime soon. Here in Indianapolis, gas prices are trending above the national average, but at least one economist says hopefully the pain at the pump won't last much longer. It's as obvious as it is painful. It's been a, a, a sharp little climb. Gas prices surging in the Circle City. Uh, it costs my guys more money to get back and forth to work. So it does make a big difference. With the national average price for a gallon of regular unleaded at $2.79 a gallon, here in Indiana, it's $2.86. That's a 28 cent jump in the past month, but we found many drivers paying nearly three bucks. That suggests that there's some kind of local supply disruption, uh, a refinery outage, a pipeline, or something like that. Purdue University energy economist Wally Tyner says that possible local disruption would impact fuel prices across the Midwest. Uh, the oil companies don't usually release. They don't say we had a fire at this refinery or we had a pipeline break unless there's an environmental implication. If there's an environmental implication, if it's a spill or something, they have to report it to EPA. But Tyner says we should soon see a decrease in prices back to about $2.70 a gallon. The crude oil stocks are 100 million barrels more than normal. Uh, and that suggests that there's going to be downward pressure on gasoline prices coming up. And that's a relief to drivers who are now fuming as they burn through extra cash. I mean, $45 a week, you figure that's what, 90 That's $180 a month. For the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.